Yo, what is up everyone? Taji here. So today we are going to be looking at the upcoming spec banner weapons. Just a heads up, some of these weapons will be slightly changed in global server. So for example, this beard right here is going to be changed to a 19 cost with 2401 magic attack. So these numbers are not going to be exact. So first things first, we are going to be looking at the spear. Like I said, 2400 magic attack, 19 cost with DC2. That might put it at like the second strongest spear in the game at the moment. Collab literally just finished. What crystals are we going to pull with? So it is what it is. When it comes to the next weapon, it is going to be... I don't know what it's called in the global server, but uh, I think it's like Irrational Gun or something like that. I don't know what it's called, but it is a DC2 bow. It's pretty good. It has very high magic attack. Uh, if you guys plan on running a bow grid for whatever reason, farming purposes most likely, uh, it is a pretty good weapon to go ahead and try and get. So we're done with that. The next bow is also a DC2 bow, at least it was in JP, and uh, also pretty decent magic attack. So three DC weapons on the magic one. Oh, my soul. Why do you do this? You know, I have no crystals. Oh, I hate you. Well, that is the life of a Xeno player. Never enough crystals, way too many banners. Now we're going to be looking at the physical banner. The first axe is going to be P defense debuff with fairly high P attack, so that's pretty nice. Now, whether or not you're at the stage where you actually need to pull on weapons like this is going to depend on your grid, but personally, like if this was a spear, I probably wouldn't pull on it unless it had like outrageously high ebb attack. And even then, honestly, probably not because spec banner is just kind of baity since you can't even, you can't even metal the weapon. So yeah, I probably wouldn't. Uh, the next one is going to be a DC2 axe, 19 cost with, I believe 2,400 physical attack as well. So this makes this weapon considerably better in comparison to the JP server version of it. But let's move on to the next weapon, which is going to be uh, this sword here. I actually don't recognize the sword, honestly, but uh, supposedly it is DC2. So there is that. The next weapon we are going to be looking at is, I don't know what weapon this is, but it is going to be a support boon 2 with physical and magical attack to two allies. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Good stat. I see no reason why you probably wouldn't pull on this. I think it's pretty good. No matter who you use it on, it's going to be versatile since, I mean, it literally gives either or. So this is a pretty decent weapon to pull for. Uh, but it, obviously, whether or not you pull on this banner as it mints is going to depend on what the next weapons are, which... Violin of Scale, Scaly Violin. It is going to be a defense focused support boon too. I don't know if it's any good, but it's pretty much the same thing, physical or magical defense to two allies. So the same thing as the last weapon, although it has slightly less stats. Support Boon 2, I think it's okay, uh, but I personally don't really like defense instruments all too much. And then the last one is going to be, I believe this is Violent Demonic Violin, I think is what it's called in the global server. Uh, it is going to be Support Boon 2 with Magical Attack to two allies. I do like Magical Attack to two allies, no harm, no foul if you guys need support boon 2s or you guys are trying to focus on becoming attack minstrels. No reason not to pull on this banner, personally. The next banner we're going to be looking at is going to be the book banner. The first book is going to be, I believe this one is Beggar's Secret. Uh, this one is physical attack to one enemy with support boon 2. Now, personally, I don't like single target books all too much. I prefer 1.5 targets just for the extra splash, but... Uh, just due to the fact that it is a one target, it is going to be T4, which means it has fairly high ratios. So it's pretty decent when you're talking about a guild with one or two physical DPS, which is pretty typical in the current meta even now, even though physical DPS are or slightly, they're slightly weaker, but they're getting close to on par with magic DPS. It's just magic DPS is just, there's, there's nothing you can do. We've been put in a very privileged position uh, to say the least. So this weapon is not all too bad in the current meta, even though it is just a one target. It does come with support boon too. So if you do have this at like MLB, probably one of your best books just to like ridiculously lower any physical DPS, especially in end game rush, you really want to make sure that the physical DPS have like no attack whatsoever, just so that you don't get shoveled. The next weapon we're going to be looking at is going to be 
Uh, I actually don't know what this one's called. Uh, physical defense to two enemies and support from two. So, I mean, again, it's not too bad if you happen to be a defense focused Sork and you do happen to have one or two physical DPS in your guild. I see no reason why this would be a bad book for you. Um, that being said, again, tier two, so I'm not sure how the numbers pan out. Uh, but I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this was a pretty decent defense down book. Uh, next one is going to be the new one, if I'm not mistaken, which is Forgotten Teaching. Magic attack down to two enemies plus Replenish Magic 2. I'm a little bit unfortunate with Replenish Magic, but supposedly that is the second best call o aid skill aside from Support Boon, so meh. And, you know, reduce magic attack to two is pretty good considering literally three to four of the enemy team is typically magic, sometimes five. <laughs> I see no reason why this would be bad. I'm not sure what the ratios on this skill is, but I imagine that it's probably not going to be your top output, but it might be one of the top. Um, although it might end up doing less on attack down than the, uh, the Kraken. Uh, but Kraken is like literally bonkers, so that makes sense. The next weapon set that we're going to be looking at is going to be the staves. The first staff we're going to be looking at is going to be a two target staff with magic attack increase and recovery support too. Fairly decent defense as well, slightly under 2400, not half bad at all. I mean, two target staffs, we're already getting to the point where you guys are going to have full grids of two target staffs, which means I'm on the floor less. I see no reason not to pull for that. The other staffs, Scaly Staff, uh, which is a 1.5 with Recovery Support 2. Pretty decent staff in my opinion, especially if you are still at the point where you have some one target staffs. This is a pretty good replacement. And uh, another two target staff. I actually don't know what the name of this one is. Uh, heal 2 target, Magic Attack Increase, Recovery Support 2. Pretty much the same thing as a new one, just... That's it. It's just one that you probably already have. Two two targets and a 1.5 target. This is probably one of the better cleric banners. Do you want to risk it? Do you want to risk it to get the staffs, especially after Shuna? You, that means you probably don't have too many crystals. So depending on the position that you are in the game, it might be worth it to just save and just skip these banners because uh, some of these weapons are going to come back in the future. Anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys want to see future videos. But for now, I am out. Have a nice day.